I really look forward to taking care of my skin. I'm putting wellness at the forefront every day, which just makes me just feel better about myself. So we make a choice for how we want to feel. Some things I love to do prior to my routine is just really make it a ritual. Burn sage, do yoga, make it feel good. Breathe. Set an intention for what you want to cultivate. Like how do you want your skin to feel? How do you want to feel? In the beginning, you want to make sure you open up all parts of the body. Say a prayer, move your neck around, create space for things to flow and move. Create the energy and space that you feel like you can be nourished in. Light a candle, burn sage, bring your favorite products into the bathroom with you. First, I like to use a mist to help prepare the skin. Use it on clean skin, spray it gently, and then pat it in. And then next, you want to apply your favorite oil. I love to use the Infiore Comfre. It's really good for lymph stimulation and also helps to nourish the cells. Rub it in your face, like actually make a massage on your face and breathe and feel the oil absorb into the skin. You want to move the skin to activate and stimulate everything that's going on in there. Next, take your favorite gua sha tool. And I use, like to use the long edge of the tool. And you're actually gonna start on the back of the neck first. This is called the dew channel. This is a channel for stimulating the nervous system. And so you wanna start at the base of the spine, C7, and move it all the way up to the hairline, giving it a little wiggle to stimulate the attachment. Do this move three to six times. Next, you're gonna start at the sternal notch. Put one hand to anchor on the sternum as the other hand goes all the way up over the throat, very, very gently, feather light stroke, over the chin, hold and breathe. Repeat this three to six times. Next, with the small notch, you're gonna go anchor one thumb down on one side of the chin. With your other hand holding the tool, you're going to gently go from medial to lateral under the chin, all the way out to the jaw and stop. I believe this is the most important thing is working the neck and the jawline because the neck is the gateway to the face. So you wanna work on the neck and the jaw to move fluid out. Now we're gonna be working directly on the chin. Take the next couple notches up on the tool and glide again across from the middle of the chin out, all the way out to the edge of your jaw. This is gonna be good for jaw contouring. With each stroke that you're doing, I like to take the long edge of the tool and glide down the face because that's where the lymph drains is all the way down into the terminus where the collarbone is. So take it all the way down the side of the neck and into the collarbone. Now we're gonna get into the trapezius. You wanna anchor the tool right underneath the earlobe, glide it all the way down until you hit the end. And now we're moving up the face with the tool using the same beveled edges. Glide the tool right across the lips right underneath the cheekbone and go all the way to the edge and give it a little bit of wiggle to stimulate the attachments. And then glide the tool down the neck again and repeat as you did before. Now you can get into the nasolabial folds. Trace along the fold and glide down as if you were tracing a clock from 12 o'clock to six o'clock. Then you can take the friction edge of the tool and zigzag along the skin to break up any stagnation there as well. And then again, sweep out, out with the tool, with the wave part, and then down the neck three to six times.
With the wave part of the tool, you're going to move underneath the eye and do an outward stroke all the way out to the hairline and then move down the neck. Again, you want feather light strokes because the length is very, very superficial and you don't want to miss it. Oh, one of my favorite moves is to take the tip of the tool, put it right underneath the orbital bone, right at the arch of the brow, and just breathe. It feels so good to relieve the tension there under the brow. You'd be surprised at how many people have so much tension that's sitting there. Then with the wave edge of the tool, you're gonna to start right at the orbital bone, and you're gonna move up and out towards the hairline of the forehead. You can also use the friction edge of the tool, and it feels really good to just rub back and forth on the eyebrow itself to release any tension. And then hold it there. And then you can even trace the eyebrow, making little circles, that feels really good. Underneath the eyebrow, coming down, underneath the eye. You can do that three to six times. Then I take the beveled edge right above the bridge of the nose, this feels amazing, and drag it all the way up to the hairline and breathe as you're doing this. Really be mindful about when you're actually doing the strokes and what you're doing so that your attention is centered on the ritual itself, rather than thinking about what you're going to make for dinner or what you're going to do after this. And then you can even turn your tool around with the wave edge and stroke all the way up. The forehead's really nice because you can actually use different angles here. So then take your wave part of the tool and go the opposite direction. So you're dragging from the center, again, anchoring your left hand and dragging it out. And then again, dragging it down the neck a lot of people carry tension in different areas of the face so the neck is always such a great area to work and it feels really good too generally this ritual will take about 15 to 20 minutes if you do each move three to six times anything that's going on underneath the surface of your skin can be shown as a map on your face so what you're doing here is creating a ritual just like you are in meditation when you're retraining the brain to repattern itself, constantly coming back to being in the present, you're repatterning the skin to constantly be renewed and nourished so that you feel better 